with the YMCA. Today we are going to learn about half our plate being fruits and vegetables and making sure that we're eating a variety of colors when we choose our fruits and vegetables. Today's lesson is brought to us by the Healthy Schools Healthy Communities curriculum through the Michigan Fitness Foundation. And today's lesson is called Eat More Fruits and Veggies. So every day we need to eat about one and a half cups of fruit. One way to get enough fruit is to have it with every meal and for one for a snack. So I'm going to show you, we have our, my plate. We have our fruits, our vegetables, our grains, our proteins, and our dairy. So we're gonna focus on this half of our plate today and making sure specifically that we're getting our fruits. So let's start with breakfast. Did anyone have a fruit with their breakfast today? Some of you may have had fruit juice, which is made from fruit, but we want to be very cautious when we're choosing the fruit juice. We want to make sure that it says 100% fruit juice. If it says something like fruit drink, then that means that there's a lot of added sugars in it and it's not our whole fruit. So we want to make sure that when we are choosing our 100% fruit juice, that it does say 100% fruit juice. Eating a piece of fruit is better, but having that serving of fruit juice does count as a fruit for that day. So just to keep that in mind, 100% fruit juice is what we're always looking for. Now let's talk a little bit about lunch. Was there a fruit in your lunch that you ate today? Whether you had lunch at school or whether you are at home eating lunch, doesn't matter where you're at, just have you had a piece of fruit in your lunch today? What kind of fruit did you eat? There's lots of different ways that we can eat our fruit. What is your favorite fruit to have with lunch? I love grapes. That's one of my favorite fruits, but I really like any fruit that you put in front of me. I like to try new fruits too. So maybe there are fruits that you are, haven't tried before um, and maybe you'll have an opportunity to try those later on. It's always fun to try different things, especially when we're looking for that variety of colors. So we could look at a kiwi, which is green inside that you, you would be eating, or maybe an apple or a mango or an orange. There's lots of different ways to get those different colors. Now I want you to picture yourself going home today after school or maybe you're already home and you need to choose a snack for later on. I want you to think about what might make a good snack for you. Remember, we're focusing on those fruits. So what kind of fruit could you choose to have as a snack? I have some examples. So what about if you were to have apples with peanut butter? That's a nice, healthy way you're getting a protein and you're getting your fruit with this, but you're, you're making sure that you're incorporating that fruit into your day. What about, like I said, one of my favorites, grapes. That's a nice way to just be able to have that incorporated into your day for a snack. Even applesauce. Applesauce would be a great way to incorporate that fruit into your day. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about what you might be able to think about in eating at a restaurant to create a menu that would work, that would have that piece of fruit in there. So I have a couple of examples to show how you might be able to incorporate that for breakfast. If you were to go to a restaurant and create a breakfast menu. We have our my plate, so we want to make sure we're incorporating those five food groups. I have hash brown potatoes. That would work as my vegetable. I have a banana. That would work as my fruit. I have an English muffin which would work as my grain. I've got scrambled eggs, that would work as my protein. And I've got a low fat yogurt, that would work as my dairy. That 
that's one way we could incorporate all of the five food groups into a breakfast. Again, looking at those fruits and vegetables, do you remember what we had? A banana and hash browns. Good job. Let's look at maybe a lunch that we could have. How about if I chose carrots as my vegetable? Or watermelon as my fruit? That take care, takes care of half my plate of fruits and vegetables. I could use a hamburger bun for my grains. I could use a hamburger for my protein. And I could use my low fat milk for my dairy. Did I get all five food groups? And half of them were fruits and vegetables. Sometimes we can choose things that are a combination food. I've got my mango right here, which is a fruit, but look what I've chosen for my menu today. A taco. I've got my hamburger meat, which is a protein, my shell, which is a grain. I've got lettuce and tomato, which is my vegetable, and I've got my cheese, which is a dairy. Did I make it with all five food groups? We did, nice job. So we always wanna make sure that we're incorporating those five food groups, but we really wanna make sure that we get a half our plate being fruits and vegetables. I want you to think, what is your favorite item on a restaurant menu? Does it incorporate a fruit or vegetable? Let's see next time when you go to a restaurant, that you find something that incorporates those fruits and vegetables. I want you to think back, how much fruit do you need every day? Is it a half a cup? Is it one cup? It's one and a half cups. So we always wanna make sure that we get one and a half cups of our fruits and vegetables, or fruits every day. For your healthy homework, I want you to focus on those fruits today. See if you can incorporate fruits into every meal and make one snack a fruit. I think you can do it. Have a great day, everybody. See you next time.